So in this video, I want to go through some examples of solving logarithmic equations. So for the first one, we have log base 6 of 4 plus log base 6 of x is equal to 2. So first of all, use the product rule to bring those two together. And we can write that as log base 6 of 4 times x. And that's going to be equal to 2. So now convert from logarithmic form to exponential form. So 4x will be 6 squared. So 6 to the power of 2 will be 4x. So 4x will be 36. So x would be equal to 9. And so that is the solution to question number 1. Now number 2, log base 4 of x plus 1 take away log base 4 of 3 is equal to 1. So use the quotient rule to bring those two together. We can write that as log base 4 of x plus 1 over 3 is equal to 1. Now convert from logarithmic form to exponential form. 4 to the power of 1 will be equal to the x plus 1 over 3. So x plus 1 over 3 is 4 to the 1. So multiply both sides by 3. So x plus 1 will be 12. And then subtract 1 from both sides. So x is equal to 11. And so that's our answer to number 2. Number three, we have log base 2 of 2x. Take away log base 2 of 3x take away 4 is equal to 1. So use the quotient rule on the first two terms. Log base 2 of 2x over 3x take away 4 is going to be equal to 1. So now convert from logarithmic form to exponential form. 2 to the power of 1 will be 2x over 3x minus 4. So multiply both sides by the 3x take away 4, and we'll get 2x is equal to 6x take away 8. Subtract 2x from both sides and add 8 to both sides. So that means that x will be equal to 2. And that solves question number 3. OK. Number four, we have log base 2 of x squared is equal to 2 plus log base 2 of x plus 3. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to write down the question. I'm just preempting something here. OK, so I'm just going to rewrite the question. Now, first of all, leave the left hand side alone. The 2, uh, I want to be able to write this all in terms of log base 2, if, uh, if possible. I could subtract that from both sides and then use the quotient rule. You can do it that way. If you want to tackle it that way, you can. I'm going to write 2 as log base 2 of 2 squared. So plus log base 2 of x plus 3. So of course 2 squared is 4. So I can write 2 as log base 2 of 4. Now, leaving the left-hand side alone, the right-hand side, we can use the product rule to write that as log base 2 of 4 lots of the x plus 3, so 4x plus 12. So now we can 2 both sides, or 2 to the power both sides, remove the logarithms. So we will have x squared is equal to 4x plus 12. Get it all onto one side of the equation. And now with this, we can factorise that to get x take away 6 and x plus 2 is equal to 0. So x equals 6 or x equals minus 2. Now you must check, do they solve the original equation? Do they work? Now if x is 6, we're going to get log base 2 of 36, that's fine. And log base 2 of 6 plus 3, so log base 2 of 9, that's fine. So that definitely works. x equals minus 2, we'll have log base 2 of minus 2 squared. So that's log base 2 of 4, so that's fine. 
And then we've got log base 2 of minus 2 plus 3, so log base 2 of 1, that's fine also. So both of those solutions work in the original equation. Now let's take a look at number 5. Now number 5 looks eerily similar to the one that we've just solved. In fact, the first step of solving this one would be to bring that 2 up to the power. Use the power rule to write it as log base 2 of x squared. So surely this equation must have the same solutions as the first one, so question 4. However, x equals 6, that works in log base 2 of 6 and the log base 2 of 9, so that's fine. But the x equals minus 2 does not work here in log base 2 of minus 2. So that means that number 4 has two solutions, x equals 6 and x equals minus 2, but this equation has one solution, just x equals 6. So that one is fine, that one is not. Now that is weird, because if you're starting with this, then the very nature of bringing that 2 up to the power and squaring the x actually introduces that solution that is wrong, that doesn't solve the original equation. So part one of the steps that is in there is creating this extra solution that does not solve the original problem. So essentially, if you start with this equation, it has two solutions. If you start with this one, there is only one.